Hey, what's up everybody? I'm going to be using some live bait. So it's an absolutely beautiful day. So first things first, I need to cast out some bait. So that's what we're going to do. I've already seen a bunch of finger mullet around. I'm going to get my eight foot cast net out. And so we have something to fish with. Let's go along the bank with this cast net. I've already seen some finger mullet. But being in the middle of the day in bright blue skies, they can see me too. All right. Wasn't a perfect pancake, but I think I got some. Kind of lazy today. Oh yeah, I got a few. Okay. There we go. Got a few down in the bottom of the net. That'll work. So I did net a few live finger mullet and you definitely want a lid and an aerator or something to close this up and keep fresh oxygen to it because these finger mullet will jump out. But that right there is an excellent bait. Check that out. So we're gonna let those chill in there. So I'm gonna keep on cast netting and see if I can just get a few more. Had to walk down the bank a little bit, but I managed a few more finger mullet. You'll see down in the bottom of my net. So that's perfect amount. That's about all I need. I don't like to take more than I'm gonna use. So we're gonna throw that in our bucket and get to fishing. So now that we have some live finger mullet, I came out in the boat, gonna be fishing just the Carolina rig on the bottom, one ounce egg sinker, 20 pound fluoro leader, and a little two watt mustad circle hook. And we're gonna see if we can catch something. So let's go ahead and get us a live bait hooked up and cast that joker out. Get that hook through the lips. And I'm just gonna be fishing along the seawall. It's a good looking live bait. Get this live finger mullet out there. See if something will eat it. My bait's getting eaten right now. Come on. I hope it's not a ladyfish eating it. Something. Oh, yeah. How did I know that's what that was going to be? That's a waste of a finger mullet. <laughs> Old skipjack or ladyfish. There we go. I mean, these are good crab trap bait, good shark bait, bull red bait. I'm sure you get the hint now. So, he's going to go back. There you go. That was a waste of a good finger mullet. Let's uh, get another one on there and see if we can get a target species. All right, have another nice, lively finger mullet. Let's get it back out. Oh, there's something. What is that? That's something good. Start pulling some drag. <laughs> what are you? Ah, redfish. Wow, the spots on this one. If I can get this up and show you the spots real quick. Come on. Come on in, buddy. Wow. He's going to go back, so I want to keep him out of the water as little as I can, but I just want to show you the spots. So check out on that side, too. Beautiful little redfish. So let's let him go. <laughs> and he gone. That was cool, on the finger mullet. That was one of the target species, just that one was right on the verge of being legal, but there's not enough meat on one like that. So 20 incher, 18 incher is nice. Um, but in Alabama, you're allowed to keep them from 16 to 26 inches. You're allowed one oversize, three per person. Let's get another finger mullet on. There we go. The redfish couldn't resist that one. I mean, neither could the ladyfish, but at least we caught one thing that's a target species so far. Get that back out along that seawall. Oh, there's another bite. Come on. It's a good bite, too. Got it. Whatever it is, I have it. But if it's another redfish, that would be cool. Yeah, it looks like it's another red. Oh, come on. Come on in. You're welcome aboard anytime. That's a pretty one, too. That's probably a keeper. Look at that. That's a pretty redfish. This is your typical redfish. Your single black dot on the tail. That blue from the shrimp and the blue crabs they're eating. Look at that. Another single black dot. This one's perfect genetics. I'm not a biologist, but just from my observations and readings. But see, I like using circle hooks because look, you don't have to worry about them swallowing the hook majority of the time. And the hook comes out fairly easy. Let's see if this one will measure. Oh man, 15 incher. 
got to go back. That's a pretty fish, though. What an awesome specimen of a red. So we're going to let you go. I want to keep you out of the water long. And healthy release, as always. That's what we like. Man, they love those finger mullet. I'm going to grab another one. So at least they're getting put to good use and not just catching a bunch of ladyfish. Because I do feel for the live bait. Yeah, I do feel sorry for them a lot of times. <laughs> but it's a big, uh, it's a big sea out there. They'll be okay. So we got two redfish on deck so far. Let's see if there's any more hanging around this piling and seawall. Seem to be right on this corner. It's a little ambush spot. They can sit up in there and wait for bait to come by. And poke out and eat it. Oh, there's a good one. Got it. Ah, come on, baby. What are you? Oh, it's got me on those pilings. I can feel it. All right, I think I got out. Yeah, another redfish? Looks like it. Let's hope it's hooked good. Yeah, that might be a mangrove snapper. Yeah, it is. That's a nice mangrove. Oh, yeah. Really nice mangrove snapper. Daggum. All right. I'll take that. Just landed a salt. Ow. Just got water all over my face. But a solid mangrove snapper. See if it'll turn for the camera. There we go. I only have to be 12 inches in Alabama. This thing's 14 inches. So it's going to go in the cooler. Great tasting fish. Sharp teeth. But, man, are they so cool. There you go. I do just want to stop and show you the rig I'm using really quick before we get another bait out there. It is a one ounce egg sinker that can freely slide up and down. Come into a black barrel swivel and about 14 inches of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And at the business end is a two alt Mustad inline perfect circle hook. <laughs> it's a lot of words, but it's just a basic circle hook, two alt size. The outfit I'm throwing this setup on is a St. Croix 7 foot medium heavy rod with a pin slammer 4, 3500 size. This is 20 pound braid. So I actually left the seawall and came out to one of these gas platforms here in Mobile Bay. And I'm going to drop down another live bait. This is just a live pogey. I have one of them in there. About 25 feet of water right here. Let's see if we can pull up something from the bottom of this big old structure out here. Pretty cool flame going today. I'm just gonna let that bait sit on the bottom and hopefully a big old redfish or jack or something comes up and eats it. You never know what you're gonna get out here. I'm getting a bite. Still take it. Oh. Okay, I have something. <laughs> I thought I was stuck on the bottom for a second, but I actually have something pulling back. Oh man, pretty big, whatever it is. Dang, it's just dead weight. Oh, that might be a shark. I hope not, because it'll cut me off. But it just figured out it was hooked, whatever it was. Mm, don't want it stuck on my motor. I just want to see ya. Yep, little shark. Little shark. <laughs> I'm gonna Oh, calm yourself. I'm surprised he hasn't bit me off yet. Dang, he just got some extra strength to him. Mm. Come on, buddy. I might boat flip you. Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna get you unhooked, get you back out there. Calm down. <laughs> Things are freaking reckless, man. All right, we got the hook out of him. See, he's metal free. But this is actually, and it's kind of awkward the way I'm showing you because I don't want to get bit by him. But this is a sharp-nosed shark. I could actually keep this fish and eat it if I wanted to. They taste really, really good. I mean, super fresh white meat. And you can tell by all these white dots on them. See, they kind of look like snowflakes. They're a long, extended tail and super pointy nose. But he's going to go back, so let's get him back in this house. There he goes. But there is no size limit on those sharp-nosed sharks here in Alabama. You're allowed one per person per day with no minimum size. But if you keep one, you wanna make sure you know what it is and you identify it right. Get you a book, go online, tons of resources out there so you know what you're keeping. I'll let him go, it's his lucky day. But those actually taste really good in tacos, grilled, fried. They're clean, nice white meat. Like I said, it's his lucky day. Let's get my last finger mullet down there 
and see what else we get. So this is my last live bait of the day. One last finger mullet. I'm gonna drop down under this big old platform again. I mean, those sharks are really fun to catch. And with circle hooks, you can catch them on pretty light leader as long as you get lucky and they're hooked in the corner of the mouth like he was. I'm hoping I get something fast because the biting flies are out and I'm ready to go in. It's been a fun and productive fishing trip so far. My bait's back down near the bottom. Oh, I'm getting a bite. There we go. Fish on. Oh, and fish off. Let's see if he'll come back for it. Yeah, it just did. It just came back for it. And it's on again. Yeah, this thing has some weight to it. I wonder what this is gonna be. Mm. I just wanna see it, to be honest. Spinning in circles. It's real heavy, just solid weight, but it's pulling back. I don't know what that's gonna be, to be honest. But I'm not in a great position here. <sighs> In between a lot of structure. I don't know. I can't call this one right now because I have no clue. There it went, just took more line. I think it's another shark, to be honest. The way it's doing those circles. Yep, another shark. <laughs> That's another sharp nose. Oh man, I might get him in the boat. I want to. I don't like to leave. Man, calm down. Calm down. There he goes. I hate that I left the hook in him, but not like I had a choice there. The first time I just got lucky. But that's a little bitty non-stainless hook. He'll rust out eventually. But uh, see, so bit through that leader. At least we saw it. That's all I wanted. It's time to go home. So it's time to go. I'm leaving the platform and see who all behind me head back home. I hope y'all had a lot of fun while watching this. If you did and you enjoy fishing content like this, it's free to do. Go hit that subscribe button down below. It allows the channel to grow so I can continue putting more content out. Until next time, I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.